it's Hannah and today I have another Eastery video for you. I'm going to show you how to make these really adorable egg cozies, although I'm wearing them as finger puppets at the moment, but they are definitely egg cozies. Yes, but yes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these. Um, they are perfect for beginners, you only need to know how to double crochet, which is US single crochet, and they have a little pom-pom on the tail and a bit of fuzz on the top for the chick, and it's just super cute, and yes. The main reason that this video is being posted today instead of Sunday is because one, that would be Easter day and that would be far too late to upload an Easter tutorial, and two, I was asked by the lovely Monica, who is Craft Girl here on YouTube, if I would do a collaboration with her, so I said yes, why not? She's doing some decorated Easter eggs over on her channel, which are absolutely adorable, and here's a picture of them. I was incredibly flattered when Monica asked me if I would do a collaboration with her, and Monica, I hope that you are pleased with my side of the tutorial. Look at the pom-pom, it's adorable. Monica makes some really lovely things over on her channel, so go and check her out. Subscribe if you enjoy her videos, but once you've finished watching this one, I'll pop a link at the end, and there's a link in the description box below so you can go and check her channel out. But anyway, this video is super long, so we better get started with the tutorial. Yeah! Okay, so to start with, you're going to take your four millimeter crochet hook, and your main body colour, I'm making a blue bunny rabbit with this one. So you're going to tie a slip knot, which is where you go round the finger, and then take the longest length that's still attached to your ball of wool up through the loop, and then mix it snip, and like so. Then we're going to chain two, so yarn over the hook, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the second. And then into this first chain we've just made, I'm going to do four double crochet, which is US single crochet. So insert your hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through again. So I'm just going to repeat that three more times. So now you've got four stitches there. Ignore this first chain here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's your first row done. Now you're going to go into this first stitch here. So pop your hook in, and then you want two double crochet into there. So hook in, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through again, and repeat into the same stitch. And so you're going to do that all the way around, so do two double crochet in each stitch for a total of eight stitches. So now I've got eight stitches around. So now I'm going to go into the next stitch. So now I'm going to go into the next stitch and do an increase in there, which is the two double crochet in the same stitch. So increase here. And then just one double crochet in the next stitch. And then another increase. And continue that all the way around until you have 12 stitches. So now in the next stitch I'm going to increase again. And then in the next two stitches I'm going to do one double crochet. And then increase in the next one and then the next two stitches after that one double crochet in each. So we are gradually increasing again and this will get us up to 16 stitches in the round. Like so. And then we are increasing on this row as well. So increase on the first stitch. And then in the next three stitches, just one double crochet. And then in the next one we're increasing again and you just follow that pattern round until you finish the row and then you should have 20 stitches round. So now we have 20 stitches round and it's starting to get a slightly conical. So we are increasing yet again, I'm sure that didn't come as a surprise to you. 
and this is our last round of increasing so two double crochet into the first stitch and then in the next four we're just doing one double crochet and then two more double crochet and we're going to continue that round until we have 24 stitches in our round. And that's all the increasing complete. Now for the next seven rows, you're going to do one double crochet in each stitch round, which is 24 double crochet in each round. And I won't make you watch me do all seven rows, so I'll just get started and then we'll skip ahead. Okay, so I've done my seven rows. That looks a bit like this. And so now I'm going to put a stitch marker in. Um, you can use a stitch marker through all of it. I just end up confusing myself and I just prefer to count. But if you're doing a larger piece, stitch markers are very useful. I don't have a real stitch marker, I just use a contrasting color of wool. Um, but now we're decreasing. This is our last row. So we are going hook in, yarn over, pull through, into the next stitch, yarn over, just the blue, not the yellow. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. And then in the next stitch, you're just doing one double crochet. Now we're doing another double crochet decrease. So hook in, yarn over, pull through, hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And we're going to continue that, decreasing, then doing one double crochet for the whole of the row, which is why I like to put stitch marker in so I know where to stop. And it should be 16 stitches if I counted correctly. And that is your egg cozy complete. You can now finish off the end, so leave a length, snip it off, and then yarn over and pull through the loop like that, and then pull it nice and snugly. Now you just need to sew in your ends. So grab your yarn needle and just sew in the ends and trim off very close to your work but obviously don't snip any of the stitches. And there we go. And that is how you make a basic egg cosy. And now I'm going to show you how to jazz it up. So now it's time for the ears. I'm going to do a slip knot and then I'm going to chain two. And then into that first chain, I'm going to do eight double crochet. And then for the next three rows, I'm just going to do one double crochet in each stitch round. Okay, this next bit might be a little bit confusing, but I'm sure you'll manage. So we are doing a double crochet into the next stitch, just like normal. And then we're skipping the next stitch entirely and doing a double crochet in the one after. Skip the next one, double crochet in the one after. Skip the next one and double crochet in the one after. So now we should have four stitches round. this tail is getting on your nerves like mine is I'm just going to stuff that into the ear and so the next two rows we are just going to do the double crochet in each stitch round like so and that is your ear done so I'm just going to fasten it off and make another one. So you've got two ears and you've got our body which has a definite back to it because there's a bit that's slightly lower than the rest of it. So I've put that to the back. You're going to grab your tapestry needle again and sew on your ears. Is one of the ears attached so if you turn it inside out you can 
finish off your yarn and just sew back through and trim off the excess. So here it is with the ears attached, very cute. This is the back and this is the front. I feel like the bunny is missing something, so it needs a pom-pom. Everything needs a pom-pom in life. So I've saved one of the scraps of yarn that I cut off from before. And I actually saw how to make this pom-pom on Pinterest. So I got myself a fork, it's clean, kind of not. And I'm just going to wrap some yarn around it. This is not the bit that's been cut off. That bit comes in later. This is all attached to the ball still. So I'm just going to wrap that round a good few times. And then I'm going to take that piece of yarn. I'm going to poke it through the two prongs underneath there, up and round. And this is when it would be useful if I had a friend. So I'm going to trim off the excess and tie it together. So tie it as tightly as you can, take it off the fork. And tie it nice and tightly. what you do is you go around the edge with a sharp pair of scissors and snip. You might get some loops that don't quite cut and that is fine, you can just go back to them afterwards. Now this is not an attractive pom-pom at the minute, it looks horrible. I'm going to keep these two ends slightly longer so I can sew it on but all the other ones I'm going to trim. Giving a pom-pom a haircut. Now I have a small pile of fluff, which is very annoying, but yes, I've trimmed it down. I hadn't quite tied the thread, the wool long enough, so I cut off a slightly longer part, wrapped it around and retied it, um, and it looks a bit more pom pom now, which is the aim of the game. So, I've grabbed my needle yet again. Decide where you want to place your pom pom. On the first one, I sewed it right at the bottom, but I'm going to put it up a little bit on this one, I think. So, guesstimate about here. You can sew through a couple of times if you like. I'm going to be lazy. Sew through once, tie it in a knot with the other end. And then just trim off the excess. It's really cute, look at it. Ah, Now you can just leave it like that if you want to, but I, I like things to have a face. So I'm going to add a nose and some eyes. So I have some pink embroidery thread here and a needle. And I'm just going to sew a little nose onto my bunny. You can tie it in a little knot as well if you want to, or you can finish it off properly, um, either or. So that's a little nose. And so for the eyes I've got some beads, these are just 6mm beads. Okay, so I've just threaded a needle with some white cotton, and now you just need to choose where you want to position the eyes. Um, I'm going to go for that there. And then sew through the stitches to get to the other side. So I've attached these little eyes and then I'm just going to properly finish it off this time at the back, which is where you sort of loop it around and sew it around and yeah. So that can be your little bunny complete if you want it to be complete with a little pom-pom on the back. But I like to um, make them that step cuter, so I've just got an eyeshadow palette and my brush, which I did clean. I promise but yes make sure you get a clean brush then I'm just going to take a nice light pink 
and brush it on the cheeks. And now he's finished. Ah, he's so cute. Of course, if you want to make a chick, you make the egg cozy part in exactly the same way as before, just in, well, you can do it in the same color if you like. I've just done it in yellow. Then you take a, the yarn of the same color and you just cut some lengths of it. So I'm going for about 10 centimeters and I'm going to do uh, that four times. And then you'll want to cut a little bit extra I have some left over anyway. Um, but you'll want to cut a little bit extra to uh, tie it all together. So 10 centimeters is definitely too long, but I would rather have too much uh, than too little. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm taking two lots of yarn and I'm threading them both through the needle. So I've threaded two strands through the needle. And then at the top, I'm just going to find the middle and take them one way across and thread, thread on the other two and go the other way across so you've kind of got a cross shape of yarn, you see? Then I'm going to gather it at the top. I'm going to take my other piece of yarn and wrap it round, tie it in a knot and then wrap that round a good few times. and tighten in a double knot at the back. Trim off any excess. And then trim the hair or the fluff to the length that you want it to be. See, now it's got a little fluffy bit on the top. You can also, if you wanted to, make it have a bow in its hair. So wrap some, uh, I've gone for embroidery thread, but you can go for ribbon if you want to. Wrap that round, there's the back, back there. And then tie it in a little bow. That would be cute now, wouldn't it? There we go. It's got a little bow in its hair. And now I'm going to make a beak because no chick is complete without a beak. So I've got some orange double knit yarn and I have a size three millimeter crochet hook. So I want, just wanted a slightly smaller crochet hook because it, I, I tried to do it with a four mil and it was just, the beak was massive. It took over the whole of her face. So I'm going to chain four. And then I'm going to insert my hook into the second chain from my hook. So not this one, the next one. Yarn over, pull through. And then I'm going to skip the next chain and go through that last one. Yarn over, pull through. And then I've got three loops on my hook. I'm going to put my yarn over and go through all three of them. your beak done. So I'm going to leave a nice long next so I can sew it on. Finish it off. More knot tying. Just in a loose knot, not too tight. You can rearrange the shape of it if you want to and then you just sew that onto the face and attach eyes in the exact same way. Now you know how to make one of these of your very own, now you know how to increase and decrease. You can get started on making other amigurumi projects which is essentially a knitted or crocheted stuffed animal creature type thing but yes they're really easy to make and look at this little face
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support, as I say in every video, means an awful lot to me and you may as well hit subscribe as well. I post a new crafty-esque video or just video in general every week on a Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well, much like this one here. So I would absolutely love it if you stuck around and joined the party in the corner of craft. We have a great time over here. Don't forget that this is a collaboration video, so please go over to Craft Girl and check out her video as well for those super adorable Easter eggs. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box below as well as you can click on the screen and it will take you over to her video, over to her channel, and yes, leave us some love. If you decide to make something of your very own using one of my tutorials, I would absolutely love to see your take on it, so please feel free to send me a picture on one of my various social media sites. You can use the hashtag the corner of craft so I can check it out. All my links to the various social media sites will be in the description box below, so feel free to add me, follow me, like me. It sounds a bit creepy when you start to say it like that, doesn't it? But yes, thank you very much once again for watching, and I shall see you in Sunday's video. Bye!